the Trailblazers. This is their first time facing off this season. Last year, they split the season series at a game apiece. And of course, Freak playing here tonight. You've probably heard his story by now, lost a friend uh, of a long time uh, in the off season. Uh, very tough to deal with, obviously. How hard is it going to be for him to get his focus back, Shaq? It's going to be tough, Ernie. Uh, he lost someone that he knew for a long time, and it's going to weigh on him. Uh, this will be one of his most trying seasons of his career. Man, I feel for Freak, man. It's not going to be easy. I mean, but it's an opportunity to grow. You know, a lot of guys, Ernie, you put in this position, you know, you just kind of let the court be your refuge, man. Like, this guy is a strong kid. Strong kid. So well said, kid. That does it for us. Kevin Harlan standing by. It's the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan along with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. Doris Burke will be reporting from the sidelines. Chicago Bulls here to defend the home court playing host to the Western Conference. This, of course, the first opportunity to play Portland this season. Taj Gibson's checked in for Noah. Miritic comes in for Tayshawn Prince. And McCollum subbed in for Rose. Portland also making some changes. Chris Kamen has checked in for Plumley. Noah Vonley comes in for Ed Davis. And Moore subbed in for Al Farouk Aminu. On the court for the Trailblazers, Moore. He's in at small forward. Henderson out there with Damian Lillard. Then there's Vonley, and it's Kamen in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And Butler, here we go. Five to shoot. McCollum, no good. Trailblazers trail by 10. Moore right side. And that one comes up a bit short. But that would have been lucky had it fallen. Poor shot selection. Yeah, look at the coach's face and the expression. It says all over it. Are you kidding me? Now that's how to finish the break. Throw down with force. Well, a bit of a tragic note for Freak. He'll be playing this season after the loss of a longtime friend over the summer break. Yeah, that's hard to here and certainly going to be difficult for him to work through that. Going to be on his mind all year. Never easy to go on about business as usual when you have that kind of heartache and a loss. And a huge lead here early to start. Well, you know, right from the tip, there's not anything they haven't done well so far. Fires from the wing. And the jumper is on the mark. Moore's got his second bucket. You can't afford to get him that kind of a look. Well, you know, he came off a good screen, but still, as a defender, you've got to do a better job of fighting over and through that. And it's blocked. Now Lillard. Moore outside. There's 48 seconds left to play here in the first. Three-pointer, Lillard. That one dropped for his second bucket. Mark him two for four. And, and if you're the guy who has to guard him, it is never going to be an easy night for you. McCollum kicks to Miritich. Chris came in with the rebound. Tell you what, they haven't wasted any time getting into the swing of things on the boards. And even this early, that's a good omen for the rest of the game. Here's Moore. Here's Von Lang. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. And really, to 
defense fouling there to prevent the layup, but that's exactly what you need to do. It is. I mean, no reason to back off and give him the layup. I mean, much better off making him go to the line. Butler dishes to McCollum. Back to Butler. Off the pick. And he gets it to go. Butler's got eight. Very well executed pick to give him all kinds of space to get that one off. Lillard from outside. And that's not going to go. And before the game, Star Center Joe Keno talked about the intensity of this Chicago Bulls team. I feel like we're the hungriest team in the NBA. That's a great feeling to be able to say that. Like whether we shoot the ball well or don't shoot the ball well, win or lose, we know that we're going out there every night, giving everything we got with no regrets. You know, I think Joe Keem can certainly make a case. Clark for Chicago being that famished five, especially with Rose back on the court. There's no doubt in that, Kevin. I mean, even the Portland with the ball. They lead by four. Moore outside. Cans the shot from the wing. Six points for him. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes played. Gibson the screen. Butler in the corner. And it comes off the front of the rim. Most of the time, that shot will go down. Boy, the defenders have to make sure they tag him. To the wing on the left. Moore against Miritich. And it's Moore penetrating. Another field goal for him. Four for six shooting tonight. No doubt about the consistency when it comes to scoring the basketball for him tonight. A real nice lift for their offense. Butler passes to McCollum. Wants to get it to Butler and does. It's a teardrop and the layup is good. Butler's got 10 points. Uh-oh, a little showboating at the end of that one. Here's more. Chicago grabs the miss. They're coming into this game off that recent loss to Atlanta. And, and nothing went well offensively on this night for them. They were just completely disjointed. Yeah, you could call it the three Ds. Disjointed, disorganized, discombobulated, or whatever else you wanted to use to describe that would be appropriate. Noah Vonley, he's checked in for Portland. Now here's McCollum, covered by Lillard. McCollum, no good. And, and they continue to control the glass. Guys, I think they've simply been the more physical team, and that's why they're Move ahead. The and Moore kicks to Vonley. Lillard dishes to Moore. Four on the shot clock. Shoots. Henderson, no good. Bulls trail by six. Oh, and a fast break for the Bulls. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. They've been getting more and more physical as this game has gone along. And it's starting to pay dividends. They've gotten a lot of trips to the line because of it in this second. And so Butler nails both of them. Just absolute domination in this one for Butler. He has 12 points and one rebound. Trailblazers leading by four. And a wide open look for Freak. That three off the mark. For Chicago, they've gotten exactly half their shots to go down here in the second. Five of ten. Kicks to Miritich. Lets it go with a three. There's the bucket. Good. Miritich has got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Portland's gone two or three when they've stepped beyond the arc in the second quarter. Here's more. Portland no good that time either. The Bulls have gone six of 11 from the floor. Over 50% shooting here in the second quarter. Seven second difference, shot and game clock. Left side Butler from the arc. And it's Portland with the rebound. It's off to Boston for him after this game as they take on the Celtics. And that game will be game two of three straight on the road. Lillard attacking. Moore outside. No good on that last second attempt there. And we're through the first half of basketball here and what's been a good one.
Trailblazer. Bambo, he's checked in for Noah. Gibson comes in for Pau Gasol. And Mirotic subbed in for Tayshaun Prince. An almost entirely new group here for Portland. Leonard, he's checked in for Plumlee. Bonley comes in for Ed Davis. Maurice Harkless is checked in for Al Farouk Aminu. And Moore subbed in for Gerald Henderson. Rose is the one with Butler is the two. Bismack Biambo is out there with Taj Gibson. And it's Miritic in at the three. So that's the five in the game for Chicago. And so Moore nails both of them. Just over three and a half minutes through the third quarter of play now. Rose double teamed over to the wing. Butler up top, headed by Moore. Biambo can't get it to go. Great D that time from Leonard. Solid job by them on the glass here tonight. Plus eight in rebound. You know what, that rebound has always been a critical element of the game, and that's why they are now understanding how to win. Bulls trail by eight. Outside Rose. He dishes it to Miritich. The shot by Butler, nobody around. Drops in the tray. Butler's got 20. Their three-point percentage has taken a big leap here in this second half. And their lasers are starting to do their thing. I mean, that's going to be the ticket for them the rest of the way. Butler on the way. It's good. This time the assist from Rose. And now just a three-point trailblazer lead. More outside. And stolen by Butler. And here we go. The Bulls fast break. Good. 24 points for him. Really hard to find fault with anything he's doing this quarter. At least at the offensive end. And Lillard kicks to Moore. To the inside. And it goes as the official calls the foul. Got it. And so it's Portland winning this one. They seem to relish their role as the bad guy here tonight. Yeah, you know, Kevin. The men amongst boys tonight. Woo. The 2K Sports Post Game Show. Thank you, Kevin. And now we get a chance to present our Jordan player of the game, Damian Lillard. He really set the tone for them in the first half, and it seemed to just help carry them forward from that point on. What I like most about Lillard is that you never see him play out of control. He's got a poise that not very many guys have, point guard or otherwise. And there's no question about his scoring ability. Just look at what he did tonight. He flat out dominated. I mean, you see the kind of plays he was making all over the court. This is a game no matter who they put on him, he wasn't going to be denied. His offensive power was in full effect. And folks, that's it for us. Thank you for tuning in. Always a pleasure. For Kenny the Jet Smith, for Shaquille O'Neal, this is Ernie Johnson. Have a great night.